Hey guys, Jesse here with Eagle. So we want to do a test to see how our precast concrete wall panels uh, did against different calipers of bullets. So what we ended up doing is we produced two by two foot sections of our two most common wall, which is a 10 inch insulated wall and a five and a half inch solid wall. The insulated wall is three inches of concrete, four inches of insulation and three inches of concrete. And we produced them about 36 hours in advance of the test. So MPA strength is in and around that 37. MPA. It was uh, pretty mind-blowing the results. I, I'm not going to lie to you, I think it uh, fared out better than what I was expecting, but I hope you guys enjoyed this video and also if you have any questions, please feel free to uh, reach out to us on our social media. So we shot the first two rounds. We shot the 6.5, 284, and we shot the 340 Weatherby. These two panels, what you see here, are shot with the 6.5, 284. And as you can obviously tell, there is a mark at what we're seeing. But if we look on the back, on the insulated, nothing. Did not go through the panel. And the five and a half inch solid, again, nothing. Did not go through the panel. So these two were shot with the 340 Weatherby. This is an insulated panel, and you can see you only have about, I'd call it one inch, one inch in. Did not even go through the first white. And this white on all the insulated are only three inches of concrete. So if you look at the back, obviously nothing even affected. So this would be your interior, and this would be your exterior. And on the five and a half inch, uh, then back here with the 340 Weatherby, nothing. So as far as we tell right now, Five and a half inch and 10 inch insulated panels are right now, they are bulletproof. But the test is still to come. The 416 Rigby, the big boy. <laughs> That's what you're up against. Let's see how you do. something that doesn't happen to me quite often. But I am shocked to see the result of what happens when you hit these precast concrete panels with a 416 Rigby. If you look here in the 10 inch insulated panel, so this is only three inches of concrete on this white, it stopped the bullet dead in its track. You actually physically see the bullet stuck in the panel right there. That is crazy. So you don't even get through, I would have thought it would have blew right through that first white, through the insulation, and maybe if we were lucky, would have been uh, stopped by the second white of concrete. But no, if you hit it with a 416 Rigby, you are not even piercing through the first white of concrete, which is three inches. And then you see in the five and a half inch solid, hit at the bottom and hit the reinforcing. But again, stop dead in its tracks. But that leaves one more question. What happens if you hit it with an AP, armor piercing bullet? That's what we're gonna find out.
did with this is we hit him five times with armor piercing bullets with the 556 five, NATO. This is the 10 inch insulated panel. Hit five times in the same spot. You do see reinforcing here and you do get some penetration. But from where my finger is, did not go through the first white of concrete. Hit five times with armor piercing bullets. Just to prove that, there's nothing on the exterior of that piece. Did not go through a 10 inch insulated precast concrete panel. Five and a half inch solid, hit at the exact same time. So that's where the 416 Rigby was. Here's where the 556 five, NATO hit five times. Didn't go more than, I don't know, an inch in. And again, nothing through it. So from what we could tell with all the science scene we did here today, precast concrete wall panels are indeed bulletproof.